Hey, what's up? What's up? This your boy, Monterico, for another one, for another one. How y'all doing though? I hope y'all having a good night. <clears throat> Whew. Them grades just coming in. <laughs> All over them. <clears throat> but. Hey. We gotta ignore the distractions, right? I be having so much dandruff though. Like, I really do. I wash my hair like almost every day too. But, um. Hey, check me out. Look. You know how everything is starting to become podcast now, right? Like everybody want to make a podcast of every single thing. And now in the car community, me, I like Hondas, but the car community, Honda community, you got people want to start podcasts now, right? Now, all love, anybody that's doing that, that's cool. Like, you know, do your thing. All love, you know, for people that's out there doing podcasts on everything. Now look, but in these podcasts, they be saying some of the, like, like, they be saying some of those, some of them be saying some really just stuff. I be like, huh? Like, just hunts, huh? Stuff. I be like, well, no one, no, I don't even hear no car, no, no, no car people, let alone anyone like, Adam LZ or TJ Hunt or any other car person talking about this. <laughs> now look, I made a video about this. Now look, you got Mercedes and BMW and like these car manufacturers putting chat GPT in vehicles, controlling their vehicles. <laughs> Yeah, they, they're putting large language models in their vehicles. Now look, right now, <clears throat> excuse me. Right now, this is going on. Now, I made a video about this on my Honda Bay account on Instagram. Eventually, Eventually, these companies that make these aftermarket stand standalone ECUs, me, I think that eventually they're going to integrate these large language models into their ECUs. Because right now, you can use ChatGPT or a large language model to diagnose any modern car it's gonna tell you exactly what's wrong with it i don't know no one is even talking about this on any car podcast any other big car youtubers that shoot film like me or in on instagram or any other social media i hear no one talking about this all right i haven't came across no video talking about this me personally your boy monarico i think that soon Eventually, that companies like AEM, with their infinity, MoTeC, Heltec, FuelTech, I think eventually they're going to put large language models in their ECUs. Now, right now, with with um uh, with the Heltec 1500 or any Heltec, any MoTeC. Pretty much these ECUs right now can, t all you all you have to do is put your engine data in, the injectors, flow rate, um, cubic inch, like your, 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 your setup, and down there just start the car and the car will start. I literally, me right now, my CRX is literally just, I haven't done that yet. I can literally just put that in and turn my, Turn my car on and start it up. Right now, I just been lagging and been lazy to do that. <laughs> I swear to God. Right now, my CRX is just—I don't know. I—I—I I, 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 I want a tuner, 
someone that I'm, I'm I believe I'm comfortable to do it but because I can I, you know I've been following videos and it's so easy now to do this it's so easy now and the more you drive your car long term long long term long term fuel trim with the hell tech yeah the more you drive your car the better literally the better your the, the tune gets the more you drive your car so literally once a let's say you let's say you're in my position you don't want to put the information in right literally you could take it to a tuner or have you know someone that's that know what they're doing put the specs in and literally you just start driving your car and eventually your car is going to learn itself is going to become the perfect tune every time you start your car. These ECUs have that capability now. And right now, I hear no car YouTuber, no car person speaking on this. <laughs> so I don't want to hear Adam LZ or another car person or any, any car person just or on any podcast on Instagram or any of that shit. No donut media, no one's talking about this right now. I have or even spoke up on this. And tell your boy. Now look, I believe eventually this is gonna happen. And somehow, some way, these large language models is gonna be able to tune a car just like that. Just like that. But hey, this your boy, Monarico. Rate, comment, sub, and this was a real quick one, interesting one. Hope you guys liked it. And um, hey, as technology progress, as the AI dilemma become relevant <laughs> in all forms, pockets of life, you're going to see things change. And I just happen to be into cards. And with these ECUs, it's changing very fast, very fast. <laughs> we already put electric motors inside of Hondas now. I don't wanna say this, I do not wanna say this, but eventually, eventually these electric swaps is gonna become very, very common. And these B series engines and these K series engines are gonna become a thing of the past. They're going to become relics. So, I don't know. It's almost like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to spike the market. <laughs> but, um, there's going to be certain engines that's going to become very, very, <laughs> sought after like k20rs gsrs b16s that's unmolested unopened because people is going to be just preserving the engines because they are they're going I, I i don't know i would think so because eventually eventually petro electric cars is going to get phased out and we are going to miss those beautiful sounds of engines and Honda's cracking VTEC. But that's your boy, Monarico. Rate, comment, sub, and um, hey, share. Hey, push the light. Pray to this place. Stay retaining, stay locked in, and I'm out. Love y'all. Peace.